they told me I had to wear a frilly apron at work, so I asked them if the men had to wear one too, and they thought I was joking. Every time I answered a technical question, he would keep repeating the question until one of my male colleagues would confirm my response. After the first baby, they all said, so when's the second one? And next he says, this overseas consultancy is going to look so good on your CV that, well, we were thinking you probably wouldn't mind if we didn't actually pay you for doing it. He said I had to wear a very short skirt. And so he looked me up and down and said, you know, you really would look much better with makeup. I told my boss I was going to get married. And she said, well, you know, that's the end of the college and you'll have to resign. When the dignitaries walked down the line, they shook everyone's hands except for me. Because I was the only woman there, they assumed I was the secretary. In fact, I was the CEO. that the job involved a lot of physical labour and I wondered if he made the same observation to the men that he interviewed. The director said, I'm going to make you project manager. This project needs a feminine touch. And then she said, now that you've got the job, don't ruin it by going and getting pregnant. It took a while, but the guys at work have finally learned I can lift everything that they can. He reminded me of the challenge of being a young, non-white woman, and I thought, thanks for highlighting my otherness. Well, challenge accepted. When all the team executives came to our meeting, they shook everyone's hand except mine. I was the only woman. I was a part of the first generation of women to have it all. To have a career and a family was the norm for us, not the exception. We came of age in the late 1960s with the world on the cusp of change. We dreamed of a better world for women and for everyone. But holding it all together was a real balancing act. One wrong move and we'd fall. We felt we had to run faster than men just to keep up and there were no guides. I didn't know any older women who worked and juggled children at home. Half the time we weren't juggling. We were just fumbling for the balls on the ground. We made sure our careers and families didn't suffer. We gave them our full attention, proving we were as good as men at work and as good as our mothers at home. Most of us made it. But many of us lost something important in the balance. Ourselves.